dear students we are going to solve problem 4 under the topic lagrange's linear partial differential equation by using the method of grouping so as the first step let us mark the given equation as equation 1 and we shall compare it with the standard equation which is given by so while comparing with the standard form of the lagrange's partial differential equation we see that capital p is equal to a minus x and then capital q is equal to b minus y and capital r is equal to c minus z so we have written p q r next we shall write the auxiliary equation the auxiliary equation is given by dx by p is equal to dy by q is equal to dz by r now let us substitute p q and r over here so what we obtain is at the place of p when we substitute a minus x we get dx by a minus x is equal to dy by q that is b minus y and that is equal to dz divided by r which is c minus z so we have obtained the auxiliary equations let us take them as 1 2 and 3 now let us compare these equations and get the solution phi of u comma v is equal to 0 you if you uh, go through the problems 1 2 and 3 which i have done previously in this topic you will understand this lecture more better so uh, in order to do so we will compare first 1 and 2 so while comparing equation 1 and 2 what we get is dx by a minus x is equal to dy by b minus y now we have to integrate on both the sides what is integral 1 by a minus x dx it is logarithm of a minus x by the integral formula is equal to an integral of this is log of b minus y and since we have logarithm here we will add the constant as log of c1 now let us take this log of b minus y to the left hand side so we get log of a minus x minus log of b minus y is equal to logarithm of c1 now this is of the form log a minus log b which is log a by b so this can be written as log of a minus x divided by b minus y and that is equal to logarithm of c1 and while comparing the left hand right we get the value of c1 to be equal to a minus x divided by b minus y therefore we have obtained the first solution because the solution u is equal to c1 and so therefore the first solution is u is equal to what is c1 a minus x divided by b minus y so this is the first solution u in a similar manner we have to compare any other two equations and obtain the second solution so i am going to choose second and the third one and, and i am going to compare but it is completely of your choice you can choose either 1 and 3 or 2 and 3 so i am going to choose 1 2 and 3 now so comparing 2 and 3 what we get is so comparing 2 and 3 dy by b minus y is equal to dz by c minus z now next is what we have to integrate on both the sides what is the integral of 1 by b minus y it is logarithm of b minus y by the formula from integral calculus is equal to what is the integral of dz by c minus z it is logarithm of c minus z plus the logarithm of another constant c2 now taking this log of c minus z to the left hand side we get log of b minus y minus log of c minus z is equal to logarithm of c2 now this is of the form log a minus log b and so this can be written as logarithm of b minus y divided by c minus z is equal to logarithm of c2 and therefore from this we get the value of c2 to be equal to comparing both the sides c2 will be equal to b minus y divided by c minus z therefore the other solution v also we have obtained so v is equal to what c2 that is b minus y divided by c minus z so we have obtained the second solution v so we have the solution u and we have the solution v and therefore the final solution is phi of u comma v equal to 0 what is u a minus x divided by b minus y and what is v b minus y divided by c minus z 
so this is equal to zero is the required final solution hope you have understood this problem kindly follow the next lecture to do problem 5 thank you